In this video, we're gonna talk about top trading quotes from the famous short seller, Jim Chanos. Stay tuned. Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. So this guy nailed the Enron short and he's a famous short seller. He loves to play from the bear side, Jim Chanos. I've compiled some of his advice on short selling and trading and investing, all that kind of stuff in this video from his videos, the videos he's done, from kind of interviews he's done, articles he's done. Yes, I appreciate it. I've written quite a lot here, but don't worry, you don't have to read my handwriting. I'm going to talk you all through it. Right, if you like short selling, this is a good one. Okay, first thing is, he said, I've seen a lot more go to zero than infinity. I guess that's why he decides to leverage and play from the bear side and press the short side more than he does the buy side. He's seen over his period of trading career, investing career, hedge fund career, way more stocks go to zero. So he just aligns himself with that approach. It's not for everybody. And we'll get to that in a second. One of the things down here uh, he mentions, it's not for everybody, but in his, in his eyes, it's easier to spot a potential short opportunity than it is a long opportunity. Now, don't forget that we talk about shorting. I'm not going to go through risks in this video, but we have got unlimited risk potentially on the short side, which we have to be a little bit cautious of. All right, next one. This is a long one, but let me read it to you. If you read a company's financial statement three times and you still can't work out how they make money, then take note. In other words, if you read it, you read it again, read it a third time, and you still don't know how they'll make money, you need to be aware. And I assume what he's saying there is this might be a potential short opportunity. If it's not clear and obvious how their money's come in, if it's not got an obvious business model, or looks a little bit suspicious, maybe then it's time to do a bit more digging. So if you're a short seller from a longer time frame and you're looking for these longer term shorts, that might be a good thing to do. If you like looking at fundamentals, you like going through the books, you like going through the accounts, the statements, he's saying, hey, you know what? If you read it and you still don't get it, maybe you've stumbled across something that could be the next big short opportunity. All right, third one. There's a big difference between a long focus value investor and a short seller. So he's basically saying from a, from a psychological perspective, it's easier or okay he didn't say easier there's a big difference between somebody who looks for you know good value in a stock or company whatever it is they're prepared to invest in they do the due diligence the research they allocate capital and somebody who's trading from the short side you know he went on to say hey you know what it's a similar thing we're all looking at the numbers of working out if they've got a business model etc 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 but he thinks there's a psychological difference between the person that's investing and the person who's short selling, and it comes down to behavioral finance. So, you know, how you approach it is similar, but how you react when you've got the trade on, when you've got the price perhaps going against you, when you've got a lot of media attention on you or your hedge fund, he thinks there's a lot of difference in that, and it does make a lot of sense. You know, short sellers are definitely a different breed than the guys who are kind of looking for the value in the long plays. All right, next one I've got for you. You can be right, but quite wrong. Uh, big one for short sellers, and we know Bill Ackman, uh, another one, uh, loads of different examples where guys have called the short and they've just been wrong. Now, we don't know, you know when we're watching this video what's going to happen with some of these big short calls that people have made, but the point is, being a short seller, you can be wrong, wrong, wrong for many months, if not years, and you've got to pay a cost to carry, potentially going against you massively, all this kind of stuff, uh, but you know, be actually right in the long term. So it's a matter of timing the short side as well as being right. So that's the key thing. You can be right, and if you're right, you get a lot of profit very, very quickly. Often, when it kind of starts to unravel, the accounting starts to unravel, or the business model really starts to struggle, and they it's kind of looking for finance, they don't get it, that really starts to hammer the share price. But he basically says, listen, timing, you know, is essential. So you, I guess you've got a better stomach moves against you or you're going to have good risk management in place. OK, uh, fourth one here, got another one over there. Uh, the Chinese banking system is built on quicksand. So this isn't really uh, advice or quotes. It's basically he's got some thesis and ideas. One of them is he thinks China is a big bear opportunity. And one of the comments he said is it's built on quicksand. Another thing is he's very interested in short on Tesla. But what I forgot to mention is when I'm reading the company's financial statements, is he this is this is the this is a good one. He focuses 
on businesses where something is going wrong. So in other words, he says, listen, I don't just focus on things that are overvalued because often there are a lot of companies out there that maybe they, their growth is gonna stall and that could be a short opportunity. He says, but the, the real key opportunities for him from the short side are when something is going wrong. So not necessarily the overvalued and the growth is gonna stall, which would create a little bit of a down move in the stock, maybe a you know, reversion back to you know, from a big trend down again, just because the business model is sound, but they're not growing at the rate that the street or the city wants. And so the share price might decline as people start to pull funds out. No, no, he's looking for stuff where there's something that's fundamentally going wrong. Is that a management thing? Is it an actual you know, operationals perspective? Is it a business model? Whatever it may be, that's what he looks for in his short opportunities. So there you go, there's Jim Chanos, famous shorter. He's got a few ideas as well for the future in terms of China, Tesla. So whenever you're watching this, who knows, maybe they've paid off for him, maybe they haven't. Take care, see you in the next one. Keep the risk managed, whichever way you decide to trade. Bye-bye.